steel. Steel is an alloy of iron and carbon. Theoretically, the percentage of the carbon present into steels are 0.006 up to 2%. As this percentage of the carbon goes on increasing, there is an increase in the proportional stress, there is an increase in ultimate tensile stress, uh, also there is an increase in the hardness, wear resistance, resilience and strength. Simultaneously, as this amount of the carbon increases, there is a decrease in ductility, formability, malleability and weldability. So guys, over here, carbon plays a very important key role for a particular application. Also, the, as the amount of the carbon changes, the you know the mechanical properties of the particular steels are also changes. So as the amount of the carbon is on a higher level, that is of the two percent, at uh, so these steels uh, can be can be called as a cast iron basically. So at that particular point, so as the carbon percentage is on the two percent, so we we can carry out only casting process we cannot machine that particular part we cannot do any kind of formability machinability we cannot also draw that particular you know steel into wires we cannot carry out ductility also so guys over here the carbon plays a very important key role while selecting a particular material for an application so guys welcome back to the another video of engineers academy and in this video we are going to learn the different types of the steels that is the low carbon steel medium carbon steel and high carbon steel so guys please watch my video till the end and guys please subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy so guys let's begin with our today's topic that is the low carbon medium and the high carbon steel So percentage of the carbon controls the mechanical properties of the steels and cast iron. So let's take have a look at this particular chart which, which is nothing but the stress strain curve for the steels of which is having 0.2% carbon, 0.5% of the carbon, 0.8% of the carbon and 2% of the carbon content. So over here in this case the first is 0.2% of the carbon. So guys this steels shows you know uh, considerable this can take considerably less stress, stress but it can produce a good amount of strain as the strain is nothing but the you know the percentage elongation over here this steel can produce you know the good amount of the deformation in this case so guys these steels are you know ductile ductile malleable and uh, this is having a good property weldability good formability as well so guys over here this first dotted line represents the you know this steel got entered into the plastic region and the second dotted line represents you know the fracture point so over here in the case of 0.2% of the carbon the fracture point is on the higher side that is it can take the maximum strain and it can show you know the considerably more deformation than any other steels Moving ahead, next is the 0.5% of the carbon. So these steels, you know, can show the percentage elongation comparatively less than 2%, but comparatively more than 0.8%. So uh, also over here, in this case of 0.5% of the carbon, this steel can take the higher loads. Higher, these steels, in, uh, these steels are having higher stress. Moving ahead, next is the 0.8. So as the percentage of the carbon increases the stress also increases but the fracture point is going on the lower side it can take the lower strain also can take lower strain and the deformation over here is occurs which is comparatively very less than that of 0.5 and 0.2 percent of the carbon moving ahead next is on the higher side that is the two percent of the carbon so guys this two percent of the carbon shows a very on a higher side that is the it shows a good amount of the stress but the strain it cannot take the strain so guys this steels is having no plastic region so as we uh, the strain gets induced this steels undergo a fracture these steels do not have any kind of plastic region there is no considered deformation without before fracture so guys we can uh, by by this particular chart we can easily conclude that as the 
carbon percentage increases you know the plastic region decreases or we can call it as the fracture point decreases we can also we can also say that you know the the fracture point the this kind of the steels cannot show a very much considerable deformation before fracture in case of 0.2 0.5 this steels can show a very much very good considerable deformation before occurring fracture so guys i hope you understand this the the percentage of the carbon that is the stress and strain chart so moving ahead next to our main topic that is the types of the steels so guys the steels are you know the ferrous alloys and the steels is, are generally having the point 0.006 up to 2% of the carbon so guys these are you know these are comes under the category of stainless steel so as the percentage of the carbon is uh, you know more than 2% it goes under the cast iron category so guys these steels are further subdivided into three three categories that is the low carbon steel medium carbon steel and high carbon steel so the first is the low carbon steel so in the low carbon steel the chemical composition of the carbon is of 0.006 up to 0.3% of carbon so guys this uh, steel is you know very soft and it can show a good amount of the percentage elongation that is deformation it can show the physical properties like the ductility it is having a good malleability good toughness also this particular steels are having uh, like the microstructure of alpha ferrite as we have seen in the previous iron carbide equilibrium diagram that is the alpha ferrite and perlite structure so guys over here in case of this uh, low carbon steel this is having a microstructure of ferrite and perlite however these steels are not suitable for heat treatment we can do cold working on in the in the case of low carbon steel but we can we cannot go for heat treatment as these steels is having a comparatively less strength as that of the medium and high carbon steel but we can also carry out you know the uh, the surface hardening over here in this case now let's talk about the application based on the chemical composition if the carbon percentage is that is of 0.02 up to 0.10% then that particular steel is suitable for manufacturing of the wires it is you know that is nothing but the ductility it can be easily drawn into wires it can be easy, uh, also it is suitable for manufacturing of the nails rivets boiler plates and tubes so guys over here this particular type of the steel shows a good amount of the formability malleability and ductility so moving ahead next is the as the carbon percentage increases that is 0.1 to 2% of the carbon so this steels can be suitable to manufacture the free cutting uh, like the cutting tools it can be suitable for the manufacturing of the bolts camshaft crankshaft and the connecting rods also moving ahead next is the, if the carbon percentage is that is of 0.2 to 0.3 percentage of the carbon then that particular carbon is particular then that particular steel is suitable to manufacture the structural steel parts such as the i section angle beam etc so as this is also you know this kind of the steel can show a good amount of the weldability also so that's why if you if you observed over here in the case of in case of the fabrication fabrication of the i section section or the c channel you know we can they can carry out the welding process also this steel shows good good amount of the toughness so that is nothing but the resistance to bending so guys that is all about the low carbon steel so moving ahead is the medium carbon steel so medium carbon steel so these steels are having a chemical composition of the 0.3 to 0.6% of the carbon so these steels are stronger than the low carbon steels also these are of you know the less ductile than that of the low carbon steel so these alloys can be heat treated to improve the strength over here, in this case of the medium carbon steel we can carry out the heat treatment but in the previous case that is in the case of low carbon steel we can only carry out the cold working to increase the strength over here we can carry out the heat treatment also so guys these steels are you know very shows the intermediate properties of both that is of the low carbon steel and of the high carbon steels so that's why it is called as the machinery steels also so guys now let's talk about the some of the applications based upon the carbon content suppose the carbon uh, so suppose the carbon content is of 0.3 to 0.4% of the carbon then that particular steels are used to manufacture the machinery parts 
heat treatment bolts and nuts also suppose the carbon percentage is more than the 0.40 to 0.5 percent then that can be suitable to manufacture the axle bolts forging and uh, other st uh, for studs or the dies so as the carbon percentage is between the 0.5 to 0.6 percent that particular steel suitable for two men then that particular steel is suitable to manufacture the oil hardened gears and dies so moving ahead next is the high carbon steel so this high carbon steel is having the chemical content of the carbon that is 0.6 up to 2 percentage of the carbon so guys these are the you know strongest and the hardest amongst all the carbon steels so these are the you know the heat retable and this is mostly used in a uh, hardened and hardened and a tempered condition basically so guys these steels are very high shows a very high wear resistance and having a very high hardness so this is as this is you know very high hardness so this becomes very difficult to machine we can we cannot carry out the machining over here in case of high carbon steel but over here in case of high carbon steel we can carry out the casting process so as this is you know difficult to machine it also becomes difficult to weld also and we can only carry out the casting process over here in this case so now let's talk about the application based upon the chemical content so over here that is if the chemical compound content is of 0.6 to 0.6 to 8 percent then that can that particular steel is used to manufacture the ranges bands of medium load tools agricultural application axles and uh, springs or else the musical wires so as the carbon percent goes on increasing that is 0.8 to 1 percent of the carbon then that that is suitable for the dies cutting blades drills or drills also if the carbon percent is like between 1 to 2 percent of the carbon then that is suitable for to manufacture the ball bearings milling cutters so also the carbon percentage is between 1.2 to 1.4 then that is suitable for the boring bars or in the mining mining tools mining in the construction application also it is also it is used in the stone crushing plates so guys that's all about the you know the types of the steel that is the low carbon medium carbon and high carbon steel so guys thank you for watching my video in case of in case of like uh, you having any doubts please uh, do comment below and guys don't forget to subscribe to my educational channel engineering as academy so guys thank you for watching my video